everyone and thank you for another exciting moment together and uh, we are here again to look at some to look at um, some calculations here here we're looking at we want to talk about the stereometry calculation now these are the basic uh, the basic uh, steps that will help you in solving stereometry calculation one of the things is that the bala balance the equation if you want to solve any of the equation first you balance the equation another one convert units to given convert units of a given substance to moles and then the next one use mole ratio to calculate the next, another one convert moles of substance to it is the desired unit now these are the things you you should always have at, uh, in, in mind whenever you're solving any calculation that has to do with stoichiometry of uh, any reaction so you need to consider this thing for example we have a, a chemical equation here which i really want to use to really uh, pass up some information here so now when we look at this uh, chemical equation here you see that we have a um, potassium triazo chlorate 5 that is a kind of decomposition reaction here to give us potassium chloride and then oxygen now in this chemical equation there are things that you should note one of the things you can see from this balanced chemical equation is one the mass the reacting mass you can see the reacting mass you can see the reacting mass from here you can see the normal ratio the more ratio is this one and the coefficients and this other one this are the more ratio and it also cannot be seen can also be seen at the moles two moles this one is also two moles and this other one is what three moles that means in this reaction for this reaction to take place and um, three two moles of potassium tri also chlorates will always give you two moles of potassium chloride and three moles of oxygen now if you're dealing with this when you're talking about if you're dealing with it based on you know most time we'll have uh, we, we, we might be asked to calculate the volume which is then we'll consider the molar volume the molar volume here in this case of this one we can say we can use the molar volume here because it's a, a, a gas now in this case another thing you can see here again should be the mass the just uh, all these things joined together will be the molar mass the molar mass and this other one will so give us the molar mass when you add it up when you calculate it together and this other one will give us the molar mass depending on what you want perhaps if we are dealing with grams here but since it's a gas so most cases you might be asked to find the volume if you are asked to find the volume then you, are, you know that in this real chemical reaction what you'll we'll be talking about is the molar volume the molar volume the molar volume here always have it in mind that you always consider the molar volume for this if you are asked to work uh, in the work with mass with volume so in this case now this is all we have i will want us to look at a question that can help us really appreciate what we have here so um that question now we're going to look at the question that will help us okay. Okay, the question says calculate the mass of potassium, potassium chloride produced if 25 grams of potassium triazo chlorate 5 is seated strongly in the presence of in the presence of catalyst. The question says calculate what volume of oxygen will be produced. Now we we'll look at the chemical equation. The chemical equation is already balanced. It's already balanced. This is balanced, it means that it's showing us all we are uh, we are expected to know, all the basic information that will guide us in solving this problem. Now, we, since we are looking for a say that this is what um this is potassium triazo uh, and triazo chloride giving us um, uh, chloride, potassium chloride and oxygen. This one is two, this one is two, two moles, two moles, and then three moles. Now, uh, based on this, we look. We are looking to, for the volume of in the equation. We're looking for the volume of oxygen produced. So, since we are looking for the oxygen volume of oxygen produced, we, we should be considering the molar volume. 
and in this case in this one what we have here for the for the molar mass the reacting masses the reacting masses of this here is uh our reacting mass here should be two brackets one two two point this and then this other one should be um two you know that um number of moles number of moles times a molar mass will give us the reacting mass so in this case altogether we have 7.4 7.4 that will give us the reacting mass too for this one we'll consider it based on the molar volume which is 22.4 um, gmq gmq sometimes uh, and you can also look at it in cmq that is, if it's cm cube, we say it's 22,400 cm cube. Sometimes you can say also 22.4 liter. So, so now let's just work with what we have here already. So based on this, now we're going to calculate the volume of uh, the mass, the mass of potassium chloride that we produce. So in this case, looking at this, what we have here, if we multiply that in through, if we multiply it through, you know we have 25, cm cube 25 grams 25 grams of what a potassium triazo chloride since it's 25 grams of triazo chloride we we'll multiply through that one what we have there should be 245 245 of potassium triazo chloride 245 of let's say grams of potassium triazo chloride also chloride Will give us, will give us, um, will give us one nine two grams of potassium chloride. Potassium chloride. Then twenty five grams of potassium potassium triazo chloride will then give us um, one over two four two four five times. This does not look like four, five. Over one. That will give us um what we have there should be twenty. What we have should be to give us fifteen point fifteen point two grams of what potassium chloride of potassium chloride. Potassium chloride now. For the volume of oxygen produced, the volume of oxygen produced now we we'll consider. I remember what I told you earlier on. We we'll consider based on uh, the molar volume. This molar volume is this. So in the molar volume, um, we can go by. This other one is two, two four five grams of potassium triazochlorate. Right, also plural will give us three brackets two 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 four cm cube of what oxygen of oxygen so then and um, twenty five grams of potassium twenty five grams of potassium will give us times two Two four all over and twenty five over one. So if we divide to what we have will be that will give us six eight five seven point fourteen CM cube because we actually did uh, we use a uh, CM cube to do that. That's what we have here. All right. This is just exactly how you can um, use the stoichiometry in doing some calculation. Thank you so much for being part of this, and I hope you like, share, and subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much.